I know it's been a long time since I looked at the Powerpuff Girls, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of this show for the most. But of course, since that it's Cartoon Crisis and there's so many reviews to look at, I decided to look at a bad episode from this show. And just like in the first Cartoon Crisis, this episode is honestly painful to sit through. The episode is called Sun Scream. And with a title like that, you can really tell that the girls are going to deal with so much stress and pain throughout the entire 11 minutes of this episode, or 10 minutes. So anyway, the Powerpuff Girls and the Professor are enjoying their time at the beach while there was a solo flare about to ruin, about to ruin the whole beach. So the Powerpuff Girls must stop the solo flare from... Uh, landing towards off. Now, for me personally, I honestly think that this idea of having the Powerpuff Girls stop the Soul Flare is obviously a thing that usually happens in past episodes in this show, so I can really tell that this is the type of stuff that can actually work. However, the biggest difference is that the first minute of this episode is just the Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls reacting, and when they're about to stop the Soul Flare, they prevent, they all put they prevent themselves from getting sunscreen on. I usually think that this is a lesson that lesson that the that the, that they're trying to teach to have people wear sunscreen. But the issue is that it treats sunscreen as the one of the most powerful things to protect someone else's skin, which it does. But when it comes to go, stopping a solar flare, destroying something on on Earth. I honestly do not buy that because for one, the, the Powerpuff Girls are really powerful, and it's the only reason why they made this thing, made this sunscreen plot important, is to have, is to have professor, to have the professor tell the girls that professors made the sunscreen, which it's honestly making this plot a lot more predictable and more forced whether you see the professor just trying to express that he that scientists make the sunscreen so anyway when the power cup when the power puff goes use the twister routine to stop the solar flare it succeeded but unfortunately they get sunscreen and after everyone shields for the power of goes when they see themselves see themselves getting sunscreen, they just laugh at them. Very ruthless, to be quite honest, considering that this is an episode from season five or six. Seriously, what is it with these characters from Crack and McCracken shows that easily have to make everyone more ruthless and stupid for the sake of plot? It's honestly getting really repetitive, even if these episodes are getting older and older. So anyway, back when the Powerpuff Girls and the Professor head home, the Powerpuff Girls cannot move because of the sunburn situation. I honestly think that the idea of having the Powerpuff Girls completely resist because... resist of doing anything because they're on sunburn is honestly something that doesn't happen in real life. Granted, you can't completely... you don't want to move to make any mistakes on touching someone that that you get that you get easily hurt by sunburn but this episode portrays that if you get sunburned you can't do anything for the next hours or so which is something that does not work in real life but that's not even the worst part about this episode well the girls are just trying to get a well the girls are just trying to cause someone who's been getting a car on them they can't move and when they move, it started to soar while born with the armpits and stuff. And we just constant, we're just constantly getting close-ups of the girl sunburn to the point that it's starting to become really disturbing. And this is a character, and this is a show where the main characters are female. So I honestly think that that's honestly difficult to actually see these girls doing any of this in order to actually get to talk to the mayor of Townsville. And when they and when Blossom tries to call the tries to call the mail, Bubbles had to call has to move the phone so that Blossom can actually talk to the mail. 
bad, in my opinion. It's just padding out the entire episode for the sake of just trying to have this mall being hammered in by showing that you need sunscreen in order to actually be protected from sunburned. But at the same time, like I mentioned, is that they're just hammering in to the point that it's starting to become miserable to see Blossom, Buttercup, and Blossoms be in this situation where they had to use their legs while also dealing with moving their insignificant bodies because of the sunburn that they have on them. And when they had to use capes, well, not really capes, but those sheets, it's honestly mostly worthless to wear sheets. I get that they are in the swimsuits, but at the same time, it really doesn't even change the fact that you're still in your swimsuit. And all the way to Townsville, flies along with balls are keep are keep holding the pop of ghosts constantly. It's honestly those details that I admire my for the creativity of Sunburn, but at the same time, this episode tries way too hard. And when they try to stop the burglars or the bad guys in this episode, the they are completely slow because of the sunburn. This is honestly really boring, and it's honestly really miserable to see the pop-up girls in this situation. I mean, after everything that they went through throughout this show that are pretty much much worse than getting sunburn from a solar flare, this over stopping a crime is honestly hard to actually see the comedy in this. Even if this is meant to be taken as as for joke, as for jo as for humor, it still doesn't excuse the fact that the power of gods are so miserably punished in this episode. And I'm not trying to say that because sometimes punishments is can be an important thing, but here they're getting punished because they did well sunscreen and the fact that they had to stop the solar flare from causing havoc. If that isn't a, if this is supposed to be the punishment then it doesn't work. And believe me, it's the the scenes while the power of course are trying to use the twister from before but not because of the sunburn, it's honestly hammered in. And when the professor came in order to actually tell on how scientists is actually somewhat of an importance when it comes to making sunscreen, it's still a way to show us that the professor doesn't even understand that the Powerpuff Girls are dealing with this situation by stopping the bad guys. Seriously, these two bad guys are still, like, they're not doing anything. And then, well, he well, well, he actually found some cream or liquid to have the Powerpuff Girls have the sunscreen well off. He completely, uh, th he completely got scared by throwing the antidote to one of the bad guys. Not really antidote. And then the liquid is on the Powerpuff Girls with the sun while they're b while they're breaking out with the sun spawn completely peeling. And this is the most disturbing thing in this entire episode. Is where we actually get to see the the sunscreen getting peeled off from the skin from the Powerpuff Girls. It's not even satisfying. It's just disgusting and just honestly hard to actually found this a bit satisfying. Especially since that it caught especially since that it caused the two wobbles of villains in this episode to lose and they had to take them to a to a small island with the boiling sun. And that's how the episode ends with the Nailio say that the professor saves the day. I have to say that unlike I wouldn't say this is one of the most disturbing episodes from a other cartoon, but at the same time, for an episode that came from the Powerpuff Girls, which is this one, and it has this lesson of teaching people to wear sunscreen to prevent hotness, that would probably have been a lot more better if it didn't have anything to do with solar flares causing the Powerpuff Girls to get sunburned. And besides, I honestly think that after everything that the Powerpuff Girls went through, I honestly think that they come done a lot more better than just having the Power of Girls completely sunburned and have the entire, the majority of this episode, having them not moving a single muscle whatsoever. I honestly don't even think that this is the type of story that actually works for the Power of Girls, 
even at its later seasons. It's actually kind of sad to actually see the pop-off girls in this situation. I mean, it was if it was in the mind from a villain like Mojo or something like that, or Dojo, then I honestly think that it will probably work out a lot more better since that that's what villains do. They're trying to make the main heroes have to deal with a side effect that causes the weakness to be exposed. But in this, with them just trying to stop the solid fight while getting sunburned, it's just, it just doesn't work. And besides, seeing a close-up of the intense bonds isn't clever or just interest, interesting ways to teach kids onto our sunscreen. It will probably horrify them to the point that they just cannot take it or just want to go outside. Okay, I know for a while that kids will still go outside because this episode didn't cross any serious lines, but still... It's honestly really depressing to see all this happening, even for an episode from the Powerpuff Girls. If there's one thing that could give this episode some kind of credit, other than the fact that it's hammering the, that you need to wear sunscreen a lot, is that it actually teaches kids to actually be a lot more careful to, to stay outside longer during the sunlight. Now granted, the power buff goes went to our space, but at the same time, he act. He, I really think that for what, if, if anything in their imagination, the kids' imaginations actually thinks that this is real when they run, they will probably take the advice from the professor. Despite the fact that in this episode they're just hammering a little bit hard on his science stuff, well, being a scientist and stuff. But overall, this episode was just downright painful to sit through. All I can say is, is that as much as I don't enjoy the pop up goes that much, this episode I can easily skip. And you should too. I give this episode a 3.5 out of 10. <laughs>